right, you guys. So first, briefly describe the character you play in the film and in what ways are you similar and different from the character you play? David, go ahead and start with you. Hmm. Well, Bernardo is a fighter, boxer more specifically, who migrated from Puerto Rico to New York um, to try and find a better life. And his, his passion is taking care of his family, um, taking care of Maria, taking care of Anita, and um, making sure that he can also protect his community, his Puerto Rican community um, in the city. Um, how, what do I resonate with Bernardo? I resonate with, I resonate with, I guess, I never really thought about that. <laughs> I just, I just, just did it. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like some similarities is his love for his family um, and also mm -hmm. his his fighter mentality. You know, his he's not going to give up. He's not going to just sit down and just say, I give up, I quit. Um, he's going to fight to the end. Um, and I resonate with that a lot. Um yeah, and in terms of Riff, Riff is the leader of the Jets and uh, best friend of Tony. Um, in this story, uh, Tony was the leader of the Jets and then uh, was sent off to prison and now is back. And um, basically, Riff's entire story in this is to try to get Tony back to be a part of this tribe, this family again. And uh, Tony wanting to be different and not wanting to go back to that toxic place and um, wanting to change and wanting to be a better person. And the conflict throughout the entire film is Riff's um, inability to recognize that uh, in Tony um, and his uh, lack of love, I think, of understanding uh, that this guy is wanting to do something um, better and he sees something uh, more for himself, uh, whereas Riff doesn't um, um, where do I uh, relate to riff uh, you know one of the fun things about being an actor is finding those pieces that you really didn't kind of know existed uh, and exploring that you know um, tapping into different shades of your own personality and who you are and uh, I, I honestly think you know for me one of the most exciting things is is that when you don't relate uh, at all, I, you, you can empathize, you can understand where that character is coming from. Um, and the challenge is, is to just uh, understand enough where you are that kind of person. Um, you know, that's the trick of it, is to, to morph yourself, to evolve, to change yourself in order to portray that. Fantastic. And how familiar were you with the stage play and earlier film prior to being cast? David, go ahead and start. Um, I was definitely familiar with it. I wouldn't say very familiar. Um, I do remember seeing it when I was a young kid back in 2009. I saw it on Broadway. Um, and I, I just, I absolutely loved it. And I remember walking out and thinking, oh, I'd like to, I'd like to do West Side Story one day. I don't know how or where, but I'd like to do it. <laughs> um, so, and then I really started to dig more into it once I got the role and I was just fascinated because there were so many intricacies and, um, and so much depth that I hadn't even been aware of before that I, you know, I was becoming aware of now. Um, so, it, and it just made me fall in love more and more and more with the story to the point where even after I'm done with the whole thing, and I watched the movie. Every day I discovered something new about West Side Story that I didn't quite fully understand before. Um, and I think that's what's so beautiful about the story. I just wanted to snap. You know, <laughs> yeah. that was it. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> You're a great snapper. Thank though. you. I had a lot of practice. No, I grew up with the film. <laughs> I grew up with the film. I've seen the stage production. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm familiar. <laughs> Familiar with the snaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And was the experience of being directed by Steven Spielberg anything like what you imagined it would be? And what, if anything, surprised you about it? Oh, can I start? Yeah. Okay. 
It was not what I had imagined it to be. I was actually very nervous going into it. I was thinking that this was going to be um, an overbearing director. Um, I thought that this was going to be a, a Hollywood uh, production of it all, very produced. Uh, I thought that I was going to have to just kind of show up and be a prop. Um, you know, that has happened in the past, unfortunately, as an yeah. actor, you're kind of just say, hey, wear that, stand there. Um, and uh, it went totally beyond that. The truth is, is that Stephen was the most giving and kind and um, collaborative um, director I might have ever worked with. Uh, he let the reins off and just let me run wild. And he allowed me to step in, do the work, give him stuff to work with so he could go and morph and make this thing what it is. Uh, it, it was the best experience artistically. Yeah, um, for me, it was, I think, exactly the same. I went into it thinking that, you know, Stephen was going to be this kind of director that was going to give me almost like line readings. Like, this is how I want you to say your line. This is how I want you to act. This is where I want you to walk to. And then I show up on set and he's like, all right, just do the scene. I'll be here. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, I, I have to choose everything. Like, I have to choose what I want to do with this role completely. Um, and it was scary at first, but it was also beautiful because he just gives you this, a paper. He just gives you a blank canvas and he gives you a pencil and he says, just draw whatever you want. Just create whatever you want. And then I'll see how I can mold around what you just created, um, which is a beautiful thing. And I think Tony Kushner is actually also kind of the same. He kind of studies you as a person and as a character, and then he, he'll he adapt what he's trying to say depending on what you're bringing to the table. So what I loved so much about this is that they kind of just let you do your thing and then they mold around what you've decided to create. And it was not at all what I expected. Um, and it, it, I love that it was like that because it makes you grow as an artist and it makes you have to trust yourself and, and believe in yourself. Um, so it was perfect. It couldn't have been better.